In this video, you're going to see how to install Hyper-V on Windows 10, which is the same as installing it on Windows 11, and the basics of VM deployment. So let's start. First thing we need to do is we actually need to go to Apps and Features, Programs and Features, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the Hyper-V role. Now, this is assuming, of course, that your computer will support Hyper-V. So we click OK, and it'll go install the binaries required for Hyper-V. That requires a restart. So Windows 10 restarts, and we log back in. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up a network address translation or NAT network. Now we can only do this from PowerShell. The first thing I do is I create a VM switch with the new VM switch commandlet and call it NAT switch and configure it as an internal switch. Now that I've done that, what I do is I view the network adapters on this computer. And I can see that I've got my ethernet switch and it's got the interface index of 18. I need that for the next command. I clear the screen. So now I create a new net IP address. I specify the IP address and this will be an IP address on my NAT network, and it's 172.16.0.1. And the prefix length is a subnet mask, it's 24. And the interface index is at 18, the one associated with that adapter. I clear the screen. So then I run the new NET NAT to create a new network address translation. I give it the name, NAT outside. I specify the internal IP interface address prefix, which is 172.16.0.0/24. That'll be the subnet of my NAT network. Okay, so that's all done. And I've got my NAT network. The next thing I'm going to do is create a virtual machine. So this is the new virtual machine with it in Hyper-V. And I need to first give the virtual machine a name. And in this case, it's going to be Windows Server 2022 Evaluation. I specify the generation. I always go generation two. It's a more modern version of a virtual machine. I specify the startup memory as four gig. And then I specify my network connection as NAT switch. I then have it use the defaults for a virtual hard disk. And then I select an ISO file. And this is the Windows Server 2022 evaluation edition that you will have downloaded from Microsoft's website. Now that I've got all of those settings, I click Finish. It goes and creates the virtual machine, and I've got my virtual machine. Now, one thing you need to do, you need to set the virtual process account. If you leave it as one, it will only assign a single virtual core to the virtual machine, which will make it rather slow. So here I'm saying assign four virtual processes. I click Apply, I click OK, and my virtual machine is ready. I click Start. I double click on the virtual machine to open it up. I click in the window, I press space to boot, I maximize, and then we can see the start of the Windows Server installation process. That's how you set up Hyper-V and start configuring a VM on Windows 10. And the same applies for Windows 11.